As I mentioned yesterday, India had their backs to the wall going into day 5. England are now one up in the four test match series and to see what happened and how India will approach the next test match, watch this episode of Jatin Skokal. I spoke at length about uh, England's two inexperienced spinners, uh, Bess and, and J Jack Leach. Uh, Jack Leach today was fantastic. He seemed to have learned uh, from his learnings in the first innings and it was a show of character uh, by, by, this, by this young English player. Uh, he started off by bowling Rohit Sharma yesterday uh, with an absolute beauty, uh, which I thought, you know, even though it looked like a fantastic delivery, I thought Rohit Sharma could have got his front foot a little bit across uh, and, and uh, kind of mitigated that spin. Uh, but you never know, sometimes the left arm spinner's ball uh, kind of dips a little bit inward uh, in the air uh, and that could have caused a little bit of that indecision by Rohit Sharma. But let's not take away from that delivery. It was a fantastic delivery delivery which got uh, Jack Leach back into the game on the fourth evening. So he must have felt really pumped up on day five and he literally took off from where he had left uh, on, on the fourth day. Uh, he bowled a superb line, he bowled a, a flatter and a faster pace uh, you know on the last day which is the right way for a spinner to approach a wicket which is helping uh, him and which has cracks and which has gone dusty. Uh, a spinner kind of tends to push the ball in a little bit more to get maximum revs uh, when the ball hits the pitch and hence more spin after it uh, uh, pitches. Uh, Jack Leach must have also seen Ashwin uh, push the ball through a little faster in yesterday's innings and he took a leaf out of that book and put that into practice perfectly to end with four wickets on day five to take England to a win. But the guy who actually started uh, the collapse was Anderson. Uh, I spoke yesterday about Anderson being the danger man for India uh, and that's exactly how it transpired. Uh, Anderson bowls a slightly fuller length from which uh, the ball was scooting uh, on, on the on the Chipok pitch, it was keeping low, uh, it was rushing onto the batsman uh, and that's exactly what Anderson uh, did. Uh, he reminded me of what Cummins uh, uh, used as an incoming ball against India uh, in Australia. That's exactly how uh, Anderson got both Gill uh, and Ajinkya Rane uh, with fantastic deliveries between the space of four or five balls to really take uh, England into a position of uh, dominance. The one bright spot for India, the one positive they could take out of this test match, the one positive they will take out of this test match uh, is Virat Kohli's form. Uh, I think uh, it's very important that he had runs, he got runs under his belt uh, in this first test match uh, because let's not forget uh, he played that pink ball test match in Australia and then was on paternity leave. So as much as you can practice, there's no better feeling than going out to the middle and getting some runs under your belt. So I think that's the big positive India will take out of this. Uh, they are a young, confident team. Uh, they know that on their day they will beat anybody and you saw that kind of intent, confidence, uh, and, and, the, uh, and the spirit of competition uh, which they show when the chips are down. I think this uh, first test match loss uh, in a way sets this series up fantastically well. Uh, so, so, so let's see how things tra transpire in the, in the second test match. Uh, but I feel that the heat will also have a lot to do with uh, how the teams uh, fare in test number two. Uh, the, the English bowlers will be tired, uh, even Bess and, uh, and Leach will be tired, Root will also be tired. The second test match starts in uh, three or four days. So I've got a feeling the Indians will adapt to the heat a little bit better in the second test and England could find it uh, a little bit of a struggle. Uh, but let's see what, uh, uh, what what kind of wicket we get as well for the second test match. I've, I've got a feeling that they will roll the wicket a little bit more uh, and, and try and uh, prepare a pitch uh, which will last the first three days uh, 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 you know, as a batting wicket instead of the first two days. I spoke about how day one and day two will be the best days to bat. Uh, in, 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 in this test match. I think the curator will, will try and uh, keep it a good wicket going into day two and a half to day three. Uh, the other big, big piece which uh, didn't go India's way was the toss. Uh, in, in test matches like this where the ball is going to turn uh, later on, the toss becomes a very, very crucial uh, kind of moment in the game. 
and unfortunately uh, Virat uh, has made a habit of, of losing tosses so let's hope that you know the law of averages kind of kicks in his favor and he wins the toss in the second test match another big point which I would like to talk about was that Ashwin did not have uh, a, a top quality partner uh, in the spin department from the other end. Uh, this happened because Akshar Patel was injured and they had to draft uh, Nadeem in. Nadeem who's been a domestic, uh, uh, you know, veteran, literally fantastic bowler, but things didn't go well for him in this test match. And I thought Ashwin lacked that little bit of uh, kind of extra quality from the other end. Remains to be seen if, if, India, uh, uh, if India go with Akshar Patel or Nadeem or Kuldeep Yadav. Uh, I thought that they could have gone with Kuldeep Yadav in this test match itself. Going with Nadeem uh, seemed to me like a little bit of a defensive move. But I think the next uh, te test match, if Akshar is fit, they will go with Akshar because Akshar Patel will get bounce uh, from the pitch as well. So I think uh, that that combination of Ashwin and Akshar Patel uh, will put a lot of pressure on the middle order, uh, on the English middle order. And that will be a big kind of position of strength uh, for India. Even if Akshar doesn't play and they decide to play Kuldeep Yadav, I think that will be a good choice as well. But like I said earlier, the toss is going to be crucial in this series and I dare say that the team which wins the toss will probably win the test match. Uh, the next test match starts on the 13th. Uh, uh, I'll do a preview on the 12th and a, a first day review on the 13th. So join me then. Till then, keep using the Ask Jatin hashtag uh, on my Twitter account. Keep the questions going and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.